to go along with the GoPro, I picked up a Joby Gorillapod tripod, which are very useful for shooting not directly um, on your body, but um, if you want some static shots or something like that. Uh, it's going to be hard to do that with a typical tripod on you know, a rock or a tree or anything like that. So I picked up this uh, tripod to, to test it out. It's got a nice swivel action on it and um, a level which is good as well, even though some of the modern uh, cameras, including the GoPro, do have some auto leveling features on them. There's kind of more description. It has that quarter inch uh, attachment, which is really common for uh, any type of camera work. So here's the legs. It's got a lot of those adjustable balls on it, so you could pretty much wrap it around things um, or even um, stand it up in really unlevel places. And it looks like it's got two attachments. Um, one is that GoPro attachment, and then you can see on the bottom there's also that um, quarter inch uh, camera attachment. That's how you slide the attachment in. And there's the setup guide. It doesn't have the little wand that you twist in from the side that comes with the actual GoPro. So when you open the GoPro box, you got to look for that. And that shows where the quarter inch attachment goes in. Here's how you're going to set up the actual GoPro on the tripod. There you go. It fits right in and it's adjustable. So the joints are a little stiff at first, but um, if you kind of work them a little bit, it becomes easier to bend. And other than that, it's a great tripod. I highly recommend it.